I mentioned earlier that grades have measurement error. So it is the case that rankings have measurement error. So if, you, if you're asking, you know, how do you distinguish between number seven and number eight in a ranking? My answer is you probably shouldn't. Okay, that, um, okay. So, so you could distinguish between, let's say, number seven and number 77, okay, but not number seven and number eight. So, so the, you know, so the gist of it is, like in physics, there's this concept of significant digits that, uh, you know, they sort of understand that they can't measure things out to arbitrary precision. And so they'll just tell you the, the numbers to the precision they think they can measure it, okay? Okay. So, so, you know, and let's say, for, you know, when it comes to rankings, like for some reason we feel that, you know, the, the fact that, that we're gonna use the, the numerical system that's based on the fact that we have 10 fingers and use that to, you know, to kind of indicate how precise we can measure things. But the reality is that, you know, the, the, the measurement is crude. And so you could think about, let's say, treating one and two is the same, three and four is the same, five and six is the same. Okay, but one and two different from three and four. Maybe that's the degree of precision you have, or maybe it's not even that fine. You know, maybe there's top 10 and there's top 20, and then there's between 10 and 20. And 